walk you through the um, embolization procedure. This is how we access. This is a, just a small needle stick done under local anesthesia. We get access to the patient vein and the groin. Uh, this is a view on fluoroscopy, uh, the x-ray table. Uh, over which we do so you can see thanks to the imaging and the x-ray we are able to see the whole body there's no uh, need to do surgery for us and this is the main difference between interventional radiology and surgery we insert a small uh, guide wire that goes into the vein and here we enter the left renal vein and quickly we find the left gonadal vein or left spermatic vein from there we advance our catheter we obtain a selective catheterization and uh, we do what we call a venogram, which is a study of the gonadal vein or the spermatic vein by injecting contrast. Okay, so this allows us to have a picture and to visualize the reflux of blood all the way to the left testicle of the patient. This is the left testicle, this is the right testicle, this is the penis of the patient. Um, and uh, once we visualize it, we can do a whole uh, kind of measurements and uh, assess the uh, most uh, adequate location for the embolization. This is what we, uh, the advantage of radiology over surgery, so we can see those collaterals. So this is a little veins that are attached to the main spermatic or gonadal vein. The, the problem with the surgery and why they have a higher recurrence rate, like if the surgeon only can expose it a small part of the vein to ligate it surgically there's no way for him to see those really super small collaterals uh, and if you don't treat them they may grow over time and cause recurrence of symptoms again you can see the reflux going all the way to the uh, left testicle and uh, make sure that we are not missing any uh, vein we don't embolize at this level here. The embolization should be higher than this. Uh, this is just for imaging. Um, then uh, we place coils that will occlude the vein. So the coils don't just uh, occlude the vein. They cause uh, inflammation and clot formation uh, within the vein that cause ultimately to shut down. Then. Uh, we uh, check after the coils are dropped to make sure that everything is uh, is occluded with a venogram. If there is need to place more, we can always place more coils. Again, you see here after the uh, the end after the embolization is done, we see more uh, flow into that little vein. It will develop if it's a healthy vein. It's fine. We can leave it. Um, mm -hmm. It may become a potential source of recurrence. Some people treat it systematically. Um, again, uh, in this case, there was no need to treat it. And then we turn the attention to the right side. We use a different type of catheter here to find the right spermatic vein. And then uh, once we find it by cather catheterizing it and using a venogram technique, um, here's the right spermatic in this case is duplicated there are two of them and it goes all the way again to the right testicle in this case the patient had more symptoms on the right than on the left you see two big veins draining the right testicle so we enter again with the micro catheter technique uh, get uh, in appropriate location and uh, we perform Again, an embolization with coils. Here's the coils that come and they're deployed at the level of the spermatic vein. There is no ligation, there's no exposure, there's no opening the skin, there's no stitches, there's no risk to ligate the wrong vessel like an artery, there's no risk to ligate the um, lymphatic vessels and cause a hydrocele. Um, so that's it basically uh, cause where the two spermatic veins were treated. The patient uh, had an uneventful recovery. This was done as an outpatient procedure and he went home the same day uh, and he had a, an excellent uh, clinical result as well as uh, on the ultrasound. This is just uh, a follow-up with ultrasound after embolization uh, in this patient who was suffering uh, 
painful and debilitating and also the couple wouldn't, was not able to achieve uh, pregnancy. On the left hand side we see the testicle before the treatment. You can see this signal uh, in color shows us the reflux of blood. Uh, during the Vasalva maneuver, when we ask the patient to hold his breath, you can see a significant reflux of blood around the testicle caused by the reflux in the spermatic vein, which is incompetent. And you can see clearly here, this is what we uh, use in ultrasound to visualize this reflux of, uh, of blood, because it's significant and encircles the testicle, causing excessive temperature, heat, and this will eventually um, decrease the sperm motility and uh, the sperm cell formation and lead into um, sterility of the couple if this is not treated. And not to mention that the fact that this could be also painful can lead to pain, inflammation, and atrophy of the testicle, meaning the testicle would shrink. After the embolization, we do uh, on the right hand, you can see the ultrasound done one month after the procedure immediately you can notice the difference there's less blood reflux in there's still some vein that are dilated that's normal they will uh, shrink and disappear over time testicle has more space to breathe there's still a little bit of signal in uh, that represent blood flow but we don't see as much uh, reflux as before this is quite uh, evident here on this uh, uh, on these images uh, this is, has been the result of a uh, procedure called embolization that is performed by interventional radiology. It's a non-surgical procedure that involves no uh, opening of the testicle, no scars, no uh, stitches, and uh, essentially no risk of ligating other vessels than, other than the, the spermatic vein. Thank you. So uh, we come at the end of this video. Thanks for uh, staying here till the end. I hope uh, this was informative and helpful. If you like the video, please don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe uh, to stay informed for more interesting topics. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave me some comments below. I try to answer all the questions. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know if you want me to uh, treat any other questions or topics in the field of interventional radiology, I'll be happy to help. Thank you very much.